hi my loves welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be talking about breast pump the best breast pump i would recommend for a nursing mom so in case you want to buy a breast pump and you're looking for which of the products is nice because trust me there are lots of products in the market lots of it so you you might not even know the particular one to choose but coming from me if you am to review a breast pump and give you an advice on what to choose or the product to choose i would recommend for you midela so midela product is a very nice um, breast pump because it has lots of things inside it has lots of features and it's very very effective actually this is the one i got i recently got it it's quite pricey yeah i recently got it here and i've been using it and it's been nice so far it's been nice so far because it came with lots of accessories and it came with the charger it came with the pump it came with the valve it came with the bottles it came with the uh, monitor monitor is the machine the breast pump itself then it came with a bag that you can put all these your accessories inside so this breast pump is very very recommended it came with four bottles yeah four bottles so there's two that you can use for pumping like immediately if you're pumping directly if you're pumping on the two sides there are two that came with it meanwhile there are other two storage and um, bottles that you can use and pump and keep inside your bottle or inside your it's actually inside a bottle so you just pump and keep them inside your ice box it came with the ice box yeah i forgot to say that it came with the ice box i think the ice box is something like a cooling um box that you can put your um extra type breast milk inside and it will help you store it whenever you want to breastfeed your baby then you just put on the nipple um, cover on it and just directly feed your baby without any warming or anything so <clears throat> in the other product is very very nice it came with lots of things this this is the valve this is the pipe this is the bottles then this one i'm opening now is the storage cooler is the ice box it came like this i didn't buy anything different i bought everything like this the thing came inside a big bag that you can even carry without anybody even knowing that what you're carrying is a breast pump so this is the bag i'm trying to open it <clears throat> you see the stored sorry about my voice i lost my voice i actually have kata and cough so i'm trying to open it so these are the bottles inside i already removed two that i was using to pump recently the one i washed so this is the product on it this is midella this is this is the bottle you're going to use and store your breast milk in case you want to save for later or you want to breastfeed your baby later and you wouldn't necessarily have to pump because the pump is something is a pump that is based on electric like it needs light before you can be able to pump it's not like manual or all these ones that uses battery it's when there is light you plug it directly with the to the socket and then you can pump an extra breast milk so this came with tender care um balm this balm is for maybe people that have um soy breast or maybe you have injury in your breast because of your baby teething or gum or something you can apply it on it and it will heal the breast and it's very very safe for your baby in case your baby swallows it or leaks it it doesn't matter it won't harm the baby so this is the monitor this is the machine i don't want to open it i'm just trying to show you for that the machine is stored inside so you can open it if you want but i don't want to mix it so i'm just going to leave it there like that so this is the monitor this is the face of the monitor the monitor is the machine so you don't start thinking what's the monitor so the machine where the breast pump like this is the main engine so this is it it's written there midella so there are lots of things that came with it lots like it's very fine i don't want to open it as so this is the bag very portable you can carry this bag on your shoulder and go anywhere and somebody will even think maybe it's just a fashion bag not knowing that you're carrying your breast pump and accessories inside so things to look out for when you're choosing a breast pump one noise level why there's no breast pump that is entirely silent some are louder than others if you be pumping around other people in an office or doing conference call you may want to choose one that is generally recognized as being relatively quiet so tips number two the weight if you be committing to the office or traveling often it can be helpful to have a lightweight pump it's not generally like this one i posted it's a breast pump here yeah? it's very big and it has a big bag that you might not really know but i would advise you if you're doing these two things you have to take the one that is a bit smaller and something that you can be able to transport easily tips number three where you'll be pumping will you have access to an electrical outlet if not say you have a vision pumping in your car on your way back from work or in the bathroom you may want to consider a double electric model that comes with a battery pack or 
opt for a smaller one more portable battery powered option some never some newer models can be worn under your shirt allowing you to pump completely hands-free and without any obvious tubings or wire unlike this one i recommended this one is just something very portable for in-house person you get but if you want hands-free pump there are others in the market midella or some other product pump in style advanced is a single user product Use by more than one person may pose a health risk and performance questions, and voids the warranty. Before using your pump in style for the first time, disassemble and boil all the parts that come into contact with the breast and breast milk. Breast shields, connectors, valves, membranes, bottles, and caps. Before cleaning, be sure to remove the yellow valve from the breast shield connector and separate the white membrane from the yellow valve. Inspect the white membranes for holes, tears, or warping, and the yellow valves for cracks or chips. Any damage to these parts could compromise the performance of your pumping session and suction. If you notice any damage, replace parts immediately. Sanitize the parts in boiling water for 10 minutes. Refer to the cleaning and care section in your breast pump instructions for use for detailed information. Before assembling your pump in style advanced, be sure that all parts air dry after cleaning. Wash your hands before touching breasts or containers and avoid touching the inside of containers or lids. Begin assembly by securely attaching the breast shield to the connector. Then, attach the white membranes onto the yellow valves. The white membrane must lay flat against the yellow valve. Push the assembled yellow valves and white membranes onto the breast shield connectors and screw the bottles onto the breast shield connectors. Insert the hard yellow adapter ends of the tubing into the openings in the breast shield connectors. Insert the other ends of the tubing into the ports on the face plate of the pump. To remove the tubing, pull the tubing straight out of the tubing ports. Do not wiggle or pull the tubing at an angle. If you are single pumping, insert the port cap into the unused port on the face plate. If you are double pumping, push the port cap onto the post at the bottom of the face plate. Plug the metal fitting on the end of the Medela power source into the power jack on the breast pump. Plug the adapter into a standard electrical outlet if you are using the AC power adapter. Center the assembled breast shields over your nipples. To begin pumping, Turn the dial clockwise from the off position. Pump in style advance will start in the stimulation phase. Adjust the speed and vacuum to your comfort level while pumping by turning the dial to a speed that is most comfortable for you. After two minutes, the stimulation phase will automatically change to the expression phase. If you let down, this is when your milk starts to flow, sooner than two minutes. You may pump more efficiently by pressing the letdown button at that time to switch to the expression phase. If letdown does not happen after two consecutive stimulation phases, take a break, relax, and try again in 15 to 30 minutes. Once in the expression phase, set your maximum comfort vacuum. This is the highest vacuum you can use and still feel comfortable. To find your maximum comfort vacuum during the expression phase, increase speed and vacuum using the dial until pumping feels slightly uncomfortable but not painful, and then decrease slightly. Remember, do not tilt or overfill the bottles while pumping, and be careful not to kink tubing while pumping. Once you are finished pumping, unplug the tubing from the back of the breast shield before removing the bottles from the connectors allowing the pump to continue to run with only the tubing attached for one to two minutes will allow any condensation that may have formed in the tubing to dry after each pump session disassemble separate and rinse all parts that come in contact with breast milk in cool water to remove breast milk residue then fill the sink with warm soapy water you may use a mild dish detergent and allow parts to soak for five minutes Wash all separated parts with a clean dishcloth or a soft brush and rinse in clear water. Allow parts to air dry in a clean area and store dry parts when not in use. 
Use a clean damp cloth to wipe the bag and faceplate of the breast pump after each use. In addition to cleaning, you can sanitize by using Medela's Quick Clean Micro Steam Bags for daily breast pump kit disinfecting. Inspect tubing after each use for condensation or milk. Unless dirty, tubing does not need to be washed after each use. To eliminate condensation after you have finished pumping, continue running the pump with tubing attached for another one to two minutes or until dry. Milk in tubing common causes heavy letdown, leaning forward or lying down while pumping, improper cleaning of valve and membrane, damaged membrane, overfilling bottles while pumping. If milk gets into the tubing, turn off the pump and unplug the transformer from the unit and wall outlet. Remove the tubing from the pump and breast shield connector. Rinse the tubing in cold clear water and wash in warm soapy water. Then rinse the tubing in cold clear water and hang to air dry. Detach the faceplate using the thumb tab on the right side. If liquid is behind the faceplate, you must clean. Wash the faceplate in warm soapy water, then rinse in cold, clear water. Use a damp, clean cloth to wipe the pump diaphragm. Let faceplate and diaphragm completely dry. Reattach the faceplate by holding the back of the pump with one hand and pushing on the faceplate until it snaps into place. The faceplate needs to snap securely at all three connection points to ensure adequate vacuum and optimum pump performance. If tubing is still wet, attach to pump and run for one to two minutes or until dry. Use a damp, not wet cloth to wipe the bag when necessary. Do not immerse the motor unit or any part of the pump bag in water. If you need assistance with your assembly of your Pump and Style Advanced, please call Medela Customer Service at 1-800-435-8316 or email customer.service at medela.com. If you should need to replace parts, visit www.shopmedela.com.